it is friday 12 o'clock pacific standard time welcome to the crafty crochet review show today we're going to talk about this gorgeous yarn right here and i'm going to show you guys a close-up in a second how are you guys so i'm going to show you of course some free crochet patterns as well some other things i'm going to show you close-ups of it how it works up everything about the yarn pretty much so how are you? Tell me what you're up to. So anyways, uh, someone had a baby. Woohoo! Congratulations. Who else is here? Carolina, Patty, uh, Jenny or Jenny. Uh, hopefully I'm saying this right. Uh, Jane, uh, Evelyn, uh, Carol. So many people here. Yay. I'm so excited. Okay. So remember you can do this here once on YouTube. Show it off. If you love what I do, you can do this as many times as you like come invite some of your friends in. We always have a blast. And then of course you can do this as many times as you like. That way I know exactly what you think and what you like and what you don't like. So show it off and tell me about it. And of course, don't forget to do this. Ring that little bell once you click that button so you get a notification the next time I'm live or publish a new video such as a premiere or anything else. So let's, I'm going to keep this one up so you guys know to chat with me. So I see Lori, uh, Roxana, Christy, AM, Vanessa. I'm so excited. So many people are here. So let's do the close up of this amazing yarn. Okay. So let me see. I'm going to just add it right here so you can see it here. Although you see me too. Um, do you still want to see the full one? Maybe we'll do the full one, shall we? So there we go. Uh, that way you don't see me and I'm not distracting you from it. But so I have two different colors. There's more, but I picked two of them and I'm going to show it to you. So this is how you're going to get these as a hank, right? So you're going to get them as a hank and uh, you're going to have to wind them up with a, um, with a yarn binder and an umbrella. That's what I like doing. Um, it's the big spinny thing. So you put them on there and then use your yarn binder and wind it up, okay? At some point I'm gonna show you exactly my yarn winders and this is the close up of it, okay? So you can, you can see how it looks like. It's, it looks a little fuzzy, but it's actually a good thing because it actually makes it extremely soft. Look at this, isn't this pretty? You know what I love about this yarn? It is not dyed 100%. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of like a halo. It's really almost like a halo. Can you see that? So it's kind of all the way around. It has that, in this case, this is a pink, right? And then in the middle of it, so let me show you this. So in the middle, it's kind of white. So it makes this like a halo, like a shimmery effect. I really, really like this. So let me show you the close-up of the purple. If Donna would be here, she would be loving this right now. Uh, but look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? I love that you have different effects. So you see that some of it is dyed a little less and some of it is dyed a little bit more. So it is actually called hand painted. So I don't actually know whether this person is doing it everything by hand, but I know it's coming from Japan. It's called Muse Tonal, Dreamy Hand Painted, and then this one is called uh, Poetic, uh, poetic um, Hand Painted. So let me give you the details of this yarn. So we have 100% Superwash Marina Wool, uh, 114 yards and 100 grams. It is Aran and Heavy Worsted. So it's like a combination of this, okay? So it's kind of both. Uh, here you can see it is still a four and all the instructions regarding washing it and what needles and hook size you can use for this. So they have different yarn uh, colors for this, but I'm gonna, this is just the two colors that I picked because I wanna make something with these two colors together. And I think this is a great combination of how to add two colors together. They're very similar in tone, uh, which means there's, you know, pink and a uh, purple is kind of close by. It's not like green and purple or something, right? You get what I'm saying? It's kind of in this warm color range and I really like it. So I wanted to uh, take these two colors together and make something really, really pretty with it. Whether it's a, um, I don't actually know yet exactly what I want to do, but I had an idea. So either like a bag, a pillow or something really extreme and I really, really like it. So yes, this is a heavy four, not a light four. That's correct. Okay, so let me show you. I'm going to just take some of this yarn right here, kind of move this to the side. I'm going to zoom in just a tad. Boop. 
there we go. So you can actually see it. I picked a number one yard, a number one hook, uh, not number one, <laughs> eye. It's similar, right? This is an eye hook. Ooh, got stuck here. Um, so I'm just gonna do a couple chains here for you and, and a couple single crochets, but I'm already loving this. Oh my goodness, I have to show you this. Look at this halo effect. Can you see that? Can you see that's in the middle? It's almost like a 3D effect. So you have that white in the middle, right? That's shimmering through, and then you have these darker edges. It is really pretty. I mean, almost, I mean, wow, the 3D effect. I wish the camera would pick it up exactly the way I see it. It's pretty close, but can you see the halo effect? Like this dark part around it. It's almost like it was uh, 3D painted. That's probably why it's called hand painted. Um, anyways, so let me just do here a row of single crochets. It does work up really nice. It doesn't split at all. Seriously, it doesn't split. No problem on it at all. It's gorgeous. It works up really nice. And I'm going in a back bump, which is why I'm struggling here. I always like doing that, but you know, a lot of people say, oh, it's so much struggle. It's actually so much nicer in the end. Oh my goodness. You guys can see that. It matches my nails. You're right. It does match my nails. <laughs> it does. But the definition of the color and the stitch in this is phenomenal. I mean, this is really nice. I love that it's not splitting at all. You can really work it up nicely and it's squishy. It's really squishy, you guys. It's extremely squishy. Um, and the colors are amazing. Can you see here? You can see a little bit more. So there's a little bit less of the color here and more on the other side. You really can tell this is hand painted or hand dyed, right? It's really, really amazing. All right. So let me now, since I have this right here, switch the screen so you can see me all. And then here is the yarn. So down below in the description is the, let me remove this thing so you don't have to see that part. So down below in the description, all the links I'm going to talk about, right? So you're going to find this link right here. Okay. And yes, it's a little bit more on a higher end, but um, I know typically I would not spend that much, but I have to tell you this yarn is actually really, really amazing. And I would definitely spend this much again uh, to get more yarn. This is made, look, uh, dyed by a Japanese artist. So, which is really, really cool. So someone did, actually did this by hand. Okay. So it creates that hand um, dyed effect, which is really, really incredible. So uh, don't worry about that. There's no reviews yet. We Crochet is a brand new site. So at this point of making this video, there's not that many reviews yet. If you look up this yarn on Knit Picks, which is their sister site for knitters, you're going to see lots of awesome reviews. Just saying. Here are all the colors. Um, Savvy is actually gone. So you can see that this yarn is extremely popular. There is four of them there on low stock. So the Rooted, the Exquisite, the Poetic, and the Visionary. I have the Poetic right here, um, this, this color right here. Uh, the Savvy is completely gone, um, which I'm not surprised at. It's that really deep, dark purple. Uh, no, what is this? Like a green, green, blue, I think. So like a, yeah, it's like a deep purple, uh, not purple, blue. I can't say Carlos today. Anyways, the Dreamy is in a gorgeous yarn. So you can see some of more of the uh, information here. And you can see the close-up. Let me see. Yeah, I can show the close-up already here of all these colors. Here you can see that again. Do you see that? Where there's this dark effect around it and then you have that middle white. I mean, it's gorgeous, simply gorgeous. This is all the colors they have that you can find once in a while um, on their website. So in fact, if you go back, I simply go to wakecrochet.com and then type the Muse Tonal, which is the, what it's called. And you can see there's different colors that you can pick up separately. Uh, sometimes they have more. Here's an entire set, which seems to be sold out. Oh my goodness. You can tell this yarn is extremely popular, even though it's on a higher end, which is not normal for a recrochet. Typically, recrochet has really low prices, but high quality. This is high quality on a little bit on a higher end, but you can see it is extremely popular. I'm not just making this up. This is popular. <laughs> I mean, this entire set is gone, <laughs> sold out, which is really, really phenomenal. Um, 
let's see. Uh, I live in Ireland. Would I have to pay taxes? I'm not sure. I know that Wheat Crochet also sells in the UK. So you have to look. I'm not quite sure. I'm not over there, so I can't tell you. Um, it works up great on the screen. Yes, it sure does. And you can see how it worked up nicely. Someone put a thumbs down. I'm really sad. Someone doesn't like what I do. But that's okay. <laughs> Most of you guys showed me this thing, which is good. Um, show me more of this if you really like it. I want honesty here. I give you my honesty and I hope you provide me with yours. Thank you. Um, all right. So anyways, I wanted to give you guys also more information. Same link down below, multiple links there. I also want to show you, you can get patterns, free crochet patterns with this type of yarn. So what you can do is you type on and you click on free right there and then you click on Aaron and heavy worsted and look at that. You have four patterns right there that are just for this type of yarn. I'm not saying for the specific yarn. I'm saying the type, which means the, the weight of the yarn, right? So you have four of them and they're all free downloads. I mean, what, what do you have to lose? And even if you don't use this, uh, this yarn or the color or whatever, you can simply get this, uh, pattern and make it with something else with a different yarn. It's totally up to you, but yeah. So the link is down below for the free ones. I already did it all for you. You just have to click there. You don't have to search or anything. I did it all for you. And, uh, I want you to go check it out. Who doesn't want a free crochet pattern? And there's four of them right here with this type of yarn. Really cool. I love the yarn, but I not be able to afford it. That is fine. They have sales going on all the time. Watch out for it. Sometimes they have huge sales up to like 30, 40%, which is the cool thing is, is most of the time they have free shipping. Can you see that up there? It says free shipping over $35. So if you have, have the sale going on plus, ooh, I'm so sorry, uh, plus the free shipping on top of it. I mean, can't go wrong with that. Just wait for it. I promise you they have sales coming up. I know in January they have a sale coming up for books. Uh, there will be other sales. Here's more sales that are already going on. Uh, as you can see some of those, I already reviewed this one, the Kotlin one. There are some kits here on sale and clearance items. So they have plenty of things. Okay. Just check it out. Um, let me switch back now because I do want to mention regarding changing colors, you guys, I haven't started a big promotion like this in a long time, but I'm going to start next week. So, but I do want to give you guys a head start on it, head start on it. And that is called a crochet, how to change colors in crochet. And it's a free workshop, a three part workshop down below is a link where you literally see me live on camera showing you how to change colors in crochet plus give you all the tips and tricks. You get a free workbook with it. Okay. And, um, I literally do this live on camera as a three part series. And then in the end, I have a Q and a session, which is mentioned on my website as well. It's like a webinar, uh, but it's a Q and a session where I answer all the last minute questions pretty much regarding, uh, this specific workshop. So I'm really thrilled that already so many people have signed up last time. I had this promotion going on, uh, for this free workshop. I had over 1300 people sign up. I haven't even started and there are already 300 people who signed up literally. <laughs> so haven't started the promotion on it yet. That means I haven't talked about it to anyone, uh, besides today. Okay. So go join us. It's live. It is literally free. You just have to get the uh, sign up for it. So I can send you email reminders when it starts. That's what it's there for. And for you to get the free workbook as well, which guides you through the workshop. So, all there for you, all did it for you, everything free. So hopefully you'll check that out. Knitpicks has a lot of free patterns too. Yes, but Knitpicks is all about knitting. They're removing all the crochet parts of it. So if you want the crochet parts from them, you have to go to Wee Crochet. They are um, pretty much sister companies. Knitpicks is about knitters and Wee Crochet is about crocheters. They belong together. It's the same pretty much the same company, just split up into two websites, one for knitters, one for crocheters. That's all. So yes. Um, but they are removing the crochet one. So heads up on that. So if you want the crochet ones, come to we crochet. Um, anyways, we'll be watching out for the sales. Yes. Go ahead and do that. Happy new year, Louise. I'm glad you're here. Um, okay. Do you guys have any more questions about this yarn? I do want to, let me just show it to you one more time. Kind of add it here on the side because it's way too pretty not to show. Look how pretty it works up. I mean, I can't, oopsie, it totally went off camera here for a second. 
um look at this it's so gorgeous i really really like the squish of it i mean look at this Ooh, what happened there <laughs> i didn't even touch anything it just switched for a second <laughs> funny anyways you can see how squishy it is it's gorgeous i mean really it's squishy look at this it's so soft and squishy and i really like the halo effect that it comes around it i call it halo you guys know what i mean right you have that white part in the middle and then you have the color around it it's literally that someone painted it from the outside and it's beyond gorgeous and here you can see it i'll show you on this side Ooh, so so pretty all right if you have any more questions, let's leave this right here so you can see it up close. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. Be sure to turn on the little bell after you clicked the subscribe button for future videos. I have lots of coming up here in 2020. Really excited. And thank you for doing this so I didn't chat alone. And I hope to see some of the comments down below as well because I know the ones I'm seeing right now are on the side. are called the chat. And then down below is the comment section. Uh, come join me down there as well. And don't forget to share. And I hope to see you here the next time. Yay! Until then, bye.